just a little bit. But do know is counting how many Einsteins we have. Okay, so let's see. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, 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 six. S seven. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. We'll get there one day. Today we're going to be doing uh, Hooke's Law. Mm -hmm. We have two spring, right? To try to understand K, what is K? K is the spring constant, which represents how stiff a spring is or how much it responds to external force. Our main goal is to find out K, all right? If you can tell, the yellow one is very slightly thicker than the red one. If the K is big and if you hang on the spring, what happened to the spring? The spring only displaces a little bit. If K is small and you hang on the spring, what would happen? It will displace a lot more. Our goal is to find K. How can we find K? Well, what we can do is uh, when an object comes to equilibrium on a spring, this is just an example. So we have to fast find the equilibrium. So yeah. what is the natural height of the object? Well, let's of see. The, of this spring. I don't know about you, but that looks like 29 centimeters. Let's write it down. All right. So what I'm going to show you is we can put a mass on the spring until it goes to equilibrium. When a spring is at equilibrium while a mass is on it, so if I put this little tiny baby mass just like me on it, you don't have to put this one yet. This is just demonstration. And as you can see, this barely even stretches it. So uh, once it stops shaking, which it will do right about now, then we know that the force of the spring retaliating and the force of gravity moving downwards are approximately the same. So we can regard the force of gravity as exactly the same as the uh, force that the spring exerts, and we can note that down as Fs. So first... Okay, Fs. Yeah. So we, do FS. we have Fs over there? Yep, the right over thing. here. Okay, absolutely. What is the SI unit for Fs? Uh, F, the SI unit for Fs is newtons per meter, which is actually a derived unit. Uh, well, it should be newton. K is neutral. Oh, yes, you're right. That It's FS, okay, not impulse. <laughs> right, let's go. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Good. So as you can see, this small one uh, doesn't really have a visible effect on either of them. Yeah. So It, it does displace, but we cannot see. So if we cannot see, we wouldn't be able to measure it. So, so let's I'm put 250 to... gram. And also it's convenient because if we put 250, we have a 500 and then a 1 kilogram mass right here. So we're doubling it every That's time. Right. Fs is the same as Fg, and Fg is just 2.5 newtons. You multiply by 10. Yes, because 10 is t. Okay, so uh, delta x is 0 0.04. Now, okay. now, let's test the same exact thing, but for the yellow spring. Because I know he said it didn't mean anything, that they're different colors, but it definitely means something. OK, sure. That's not going to be colored. The color doesn't make difference. It's an indicator of something bigger, like a pH indicator. Okay. Oh, it barely did uh, that amount. Okay. So Let's can you hold it? Yeah. 0.03. Huh? Okay, 0 0.03 meters. Okay, good. Excellent. Now, and let's take the baby and his dad so off. <laughs> It's 500 grams. This is like you and me. So here is the heavy load, 500 grams, which is twice the weight of the other two, 0.16 meters. The technology does not want to cooperate today, but I'm persevering. Equilibrium now, and looks like it's about 40 centimeters, which is a displacement of 0.11 meters. Okay, the last one. You think you can... Uh... Get it? Yep. One kilogram. One kilogram, which is twice the weight of this one. You can just feel it. And it's also hexagonal instead of circular. Right. We know that definitely means something. It can barely even fit onto this. Okay. Oh, God. This is what you call a fat man. <laughs> okay, this goes all the way, but I can always help. Uh, it's okay. I'll hold the other. This is one in ten. All right. And the last. Good enough for our accuracy. 54 centimeters. Sure. 54 minus 29 is 
0.25, when the mass was 0.25 kilograms, which corresponded to a force of gravity and thus a retaliating force by the spring of 2.5 newtons, restoring, not retaliating. Uh, then the displacement of the red spring was 0 0.04 meters and the displacement of the yellow green spring was 0 0.03 meters. When the mass was twice that, and then the corresponding gravitational force and restoring force was twice that, then the amount of displacement of the red spring was 0.16, and the amount of displacement of the yellow-green spring was 0.11 meters. And when we double it again, then the amount of displacement of the red spring is 36 centimeters, and the amount of displacement of the yellow spring is 25 centimeters. There. So now, let's draw a graph with what we've learned. So here we have Fs, the force of the spring, and here we have the displacement. So this should be approximately a straight line, and 2.5, right there. Now we have 5, and uh, delta x is 0.16, so it's right here, and Fs is 10, we have 0.36. The controls are 0 0.06 and 2.5. All right, 4 minus 2.5 divided by the run, 0.13 minus 0.06. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? 1.5 over 0 0.07. Then the spring constant is 21.4 newton meters. Now, let's test out the yellow spring instead. We've already put the weights on it, so we don't need to do this again. 0.25. Good? Yeah, yeah, we did it. Okay, so uh, this one is going to be. 5.5 on the y coordinate, 0.13 on the x coordinate. So we have 0.13, comma, 5.5. All right. So now that means the slope is. So as you can see, it's quite a bit stronger than the other spring. There we go. So we've determined it. I mean, as you can see, this one hangs just above the ground when we put 1.5 kilograms on it. But let's see what happens when we do it to the other one. I'm so sorry. You will be missed. Do, 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 do. Yup, it literally can't go any further. It hit the ground. So this one is very clearly a little lighter, a little less strong than the other one. Now let's unhook all our masses and celebrate because you just saw an active demonstration of Hooke's Law.